I heard that the arena at night is full of the ghosts of everyone who's died. Their spirits roam the forests, looking for the transit station to the afterlife. If they don't make it to the spooky calls of the train by sunrise on the night of their death, they're doomed to hunt the arena at night forever. What happens if they catch you? If they catch you, they mess up your hair. They mess up your hair? Yeah, they make it super frizzy. I'm gonna be honest, that was actually kind of scary up until the end part. Well, it'd be scarier if you had longer hair. That's nothing, Avery. Have you heard of the one-armed recruit? The kid story? The warning they tell children, you mean? Everyone at my orphanage knew about the one-armed recruit, and for good reason. He used to be a job hunter, like you or I. A friend of mine even knew his brother. And then one day, in the arena, a sword sliced his arm clean off, and his attacker left him for dead. But he wasn't dead. No. His arm was missing, but he lived. He tied a chain to his stump, dragging it behind him everywhere he went. I heard he roams the forest of this very arena each night, looking for people who missed the train. If he finds them, he wraps them up in his chain and he cuts off their arms to make them like him and then he watches them die. That doesn't make any sense. Avery, there's no indication of life after death. And Paige, an arm injury like that wouldn't kill you under most circumstances. Now what you really need to be worried about are zombies. You better hope there's no life after death. Otherwise, you're going to be hardcore haunted. <laughs> <laughs> How is zombies more likely than ghosts? Well, zombies are just medically undead. There are a lot of cases throughout history of people popping back alive after extended catatonic periods. Ghosts are dead, and dead people don't come back. Tiffany came back. Well, Tiffany isn't people. Oh. Uh, and she wasn't dead, but whatever. It's not like anyone stays out in the arena at night anyway. You'd have to be crazy when we've got a government-issued safe house to come back to. I knew a person who did. Knew? A few years ago, her name was Marissa. Marissa Slattery. Wasn't she the girl that you... Marissa and her friends were in the arena one night after dark. I don't know if they did it on purpose. Maybe they dared each other into it and maybe they just got stuck like we did. I don't know what happened that night but Marissa's the only one that ever made it back. She wasn't the same after that. A couple of days later, she got a job offer. I don't think she even smiled. She just looked at it and walked out the door. Didn't pack her belongings, didn't say goodbye to anyone. I don't know what she saw in the arena that night, but I know it wasn't good. I... Weapon lockers, now! But they're locked! Do you have a better idea? They're locked. They lock them at night. That's how you always get that gun? I only have three left. Does anybody have it? Tiffany? Uh-huh. You have some sort of night vision, right? What do you see?
That was his last bullet. Where's Avery? 